Is it fine to ask or question God when you are experiencing sickness, like infected with COVID-19 or facing a tragic event? Yeah, and I mean, I think, you know, obviously, I think the book of Job is like the best example of kind of, you know, how to, um, you know, that, you know, God is able to um, handle us when we're at our lowest points. Um, you know, just like you said, Job, he had his health totally affected. You know, he didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't think he was going to live and he was asking God, I'm in so much pain and misery. Like, just let me die. Mm -hmm. Cursed be the day I was born. You know, he was in so, exactly. such a wreck and God comes to him at the end of the book of Job and just kind of asks him some questions. And, um, and Job never really gets an answer. Um, God just kind of says, you know, where were you when I made the world? Where were you when I made this and this and this? And Job just kind of recognizes his place with him and um, says, you know, God, you're God. And, you know, I'm sorry for, for questioning you. But I think, again, you have to have that, that relationship with God mm -hmm. um, to kind of get to that place. And, um, but I do want to give you some hope that even if you are struggling, God hears your prayers. God is near the brokenhearted. Um, if you read in Psalm 34, this is probably my favorite chapter. This is what got me through college, this chapter, Psalm 34, because there's just so many blessings in it that are just so important for somebody who's going through a rough time. Um, and, you know, it starts out um, in the chapter that's saying, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Um, the best thing you can do when you're going through these hard times is, Lord, let me find something to praise you about. Um, and he talks about he, being this poor man cried and the Lord heard him. Um, and it says um, in verse, um, sorry, it says later on in the chapter um, that the Lord is nigh unto them that be of a broken heart in verse 18 and save such as be of a contrite spirit. So if you have a broken heart, if you're struggling, if you're going through a rough time, God is near you. Um, especially in those times and because God loves you and it's so easy to forget that when you're struggling and suffering, but God is with you and he loves you. Um, and it says in, in verse 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Not to say that he's going to immediately take away all the pain or take away all the problems, but God is going to get through it with you. And no matter what, you know, you may go through in this life, um, like I said, God is with you. And as long as you, you know, keep your faith in him, you have that assurance of eternal salvation. You have that assurance that everything will one day be right again. And that um, there'll be a place where there's no more pain, no more suffering. Um, like it says in Revelation 21 verse 4, that God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain for the former things have passed away. So, um, yes, it's okay to struggle, <laughs> but know that when you're struggling and when you're suffering, most of all, that God is near you. And, um, those are the times he's closest to you. Amen. 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 Amen.